Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you don't know me, I'm Zaina, and I teach you how to make delicious and creative plant-based recipes from the comfort of your home. I hope you all are staying safe and healthy. I know that during this time of quarantine, a lot of you guys are cooking recipes at home. That's why today I'll be showing you pantry staple, shelf staple, and freezer friendly groceries that will last you a couple weeks if not a couple of months. Before I show you these items, I just want to ask that you please subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any delicious new vegan recipes or healthy and helpful tips. Your support means the world to me and it's what helps this channel keep on going so I can keep providing you with quality content. Now let's get into it. I'm going to start off by showing you some dry nut seeds and legumes because these can stay in your pantry for months. Here I have red lentils and brown or green lentils. These are a great protein item for a variety of vegan recipes. You can add them to pasta sauce to make a tomato based vegan meat sauce. They also cook great in curries and stews. I I also have here some dried white beans as well as dried chickpeas. Of course, you can also get the canned version of these items, but I love the dry version because they last me forever. But since these dry beans expand, it's actually more cost effective. But to show you some examples, I do have some canned black beans and some canned chickpeas right here. Now, I love chickpeas and white beans for a protein in a variety of dishes. With chickpeas, especially the dry chickpeas, you can make your own hummus. They also go great in curries and stews. And I love to roast chickpeas in the oven. They make a delicious crispy topping to avocado toast. I love to roast them and add them to salads. Black beans are one of my go-tos. I love these in Mexican inspired recipes. From tacos to burritos or even enchiladas, these make a great addition. All kinds of beans and lentils are also great to put in a chili. They really give that heartiness that you would want in a vegan chili. I also have some dried mung beans. A lot of people are using them as a vegan alternative to eggs. You just have to soak them for about five to six hours overnight, and then you can puree them with nutritional yeast, turmeric, and black salt. Black salt is what gives an eggy flavor. Once blended, uh, the soaked mung beans can serve as a vegan omelet. Um, you can scramble it up and make a vegan scramble. Something that goes hand in hand with legumes are nuts and seeds. So right here I have some chia seeds as well as some hemp seeds. These are amazing because they are a great way to get omegas. Hemp seeds are a great source of both omega 3s and omega 6s and chia seeds also have a ton of omega 3s. These are also both packed with protein. Now you can add these to smoothie bowls, inside your smoothies, oatmeal, and you can put them on top of salad. You can also put them on top of peanut butter and banana toast. You can put them on top of your avocado toast. They're just a really great way to get in your omegas, proteins, and nutrients. Here I have some of the nuts that I use most often. I actually like to store these nuts in the fridge because that helps them to last longer. You can also store them in the freezer and they will last several months. Cashews can be pureed with liquid. You only need a little bit of water if you soak the cashews and it will turn into a thick rich cream. What I really like walnuts and pine nuts for is for making vegan pesto. You can just put them in the food processor with some nutritional yeast, some garlic, olive oil, lemon, and an herb of choice. You can use kale, basil, even parsley or cilantro. Also, nuts are a great thing to blend inside of smoothies. I find they just give a nice depth of flavor and a delightful creaminess. 
Some more dry items. Rika and bulgur are two different kinds of wheat that can be cooked in a similar way to rice, except they have more fiber and more protein than rice. I also have some quinoa. I love quinoa because it's uh, packed with protein and I really enjoy the texture of it. You can make savory or sweet quinoa. And of course, we can't forget about rice. Here I have white basmati rice, but you can also use brown rice. I also have some pasta. So I decided to show you regular pasta, which I like to have on hand um, for a variety of different pasta recipes. But I also really like to get this red lentil pasta. I also sometimes get black bean pasta or chickpea pasta or edamame pasta. Uh, they even have quinoa pasta. And I like these different kinds of pasta because a lot of the time they are packed with protein. So you can get those extra nutrients. Here I have some polenta corn grits. You can serve it in a way that you would kind of serve pasta or risotto. You can make polenta and serve it with a variety of proteins, put some pesto on top of it or some tomato sauce on top of it, or you can make grits with this, which is a delicious southern staple breakfast dish. Now here I have chickpea flour. You could also make your own chickpea flour by pulsing the dry chickpeas that you have into a fine flour in the food processor or blender. But I love chickpea flour because you can just mix it with a liquid. I would do equal parts chickpea flour and liquid and you can turn this into a vegan scramble or vegan omelet. And of course, we can't forget about oats. Other than oatmeal, you can grind your oats into oat flour to be a gluten-free replacement to flour. Um, you can also blend your oats with water to make your own oat milk. So if you get oats, they can really go a long way. So some more items I always have on hand. Tomato sauce is amazing for making pizza or pasta with tomato sauce, but I also use it in a lot of curries and vegan stews. Same thing with canned diced tomatoes. Obviously, you can use these in place of fresh tomatoes uh, whenever you would like, but I just really like to add them in chili, stews, and curries. Coconut milk is an amazing vegan replacement for cream uh, in savory and sweet recipes. Of course, it is delicious for adding to curries like coconut curry. It adds that sweet creaminess that makes the curry super delicious. I have almond butter here and tahini, which is sesame paste. Um, both of these as well can be used in savory or sweet recipes. Almond butter is great in oatmeal, smoothies, in vegan desserts. Uh, but it's also good to season your tofu with. The same thing can be said for peanut butter or any other nut butter. Tahini is one of my go-tos. I put it on literally everything. Um, you can use it in sweet recipes like smoothies and oatmeal as well. You can mix it with maple syrup to make it sweeter. You can also uh, mix it with some lemon juice and salt for savory recipes. You can drizzle it on top of Buddha bowls. It's also an amazing salad dressing. Apple cider vinegar is a great source of acidity for many vegan dishes and it's something you can always have on hand if you don't have lemon juice. Uh, you can add this to cashew cream to make a vegan sour cream. You can also use it uh, with some olive oil for vegan dressing. And then I have some more seasonings here. Maple syrup, which we know goes great on vegan pancakes, but it could be used as a sweetener for anything. Um, in addition to oatmeal, I love to add it with soy sauce to my tofu. Soy sauce um, is, I'm sure a lot of vegans have this on hand, um, but it's just a great reminder. It's something that can infuse food with that umami flavor. Um, you can soak tofu or tempeh in it. 
Veggie bouillon is something I really like to have on hand because it can last a long time, especially in the fridge once you open it. And it basically um, is a way to turn water into vegetable broth. So you don't have to keep buying packages of vegetable broth. So I cook quinoa in this. I use it for soups, uh, for stews, and all kinds of stuff like that. It's a way to add a concentrated savory flavor. I'm gonna shift over and show you some produce that is amazing to have on hand because it lasts a really long time. So onions and garlic can be stored in a cool dark place outside of the fridge for a couple of weeks um, as well as potatoes but in the fridge they can last a couple of months. Onions and garlic are a great base to add flavor to all kinds of vegan dishes. I have here sweet potato but um, sweet potato and regular potato are a great addition to have because they are really filling starch. They go well in soups and curries. You can also have a baked potato and stuff it for lunch with a legume like lentils or beans, even avocado, and that's really delicious. In terms of fruits, I have lemons because these last a really long time, a few weeks in the fridge. And then I have bananas because although this banana is getting a little bit brown, this is the perfect time to throw this banana into the freezer. I like to chop and freeze my bananas and I can use them in smoothies or desserts. Mashed bananas also make a great egg replacement and you can blend frozen bananas to make a vegan ice cream called nice cream. Of course, we cannot forget about seasonings including nutritional yeast. I'm sure by now, if you're vegan, you know that nutritional yeast can add a vegan um, flavor to many vegan cheeses. You can use it on top of pasta, on top of salad, but I also like to infuse my vegetable broth to just give it an extra boost of savory flavor. Other seasonings I like to have include salt, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, turmeric, and smoked paprika. And finally, I just wanted to show you guys my favorite frozen items to have. So I like to have some frozen veggies, um, like frozen peas and corn. I just throw these into any savory dish that I'm making. They go well in pasta, curries, soups. Uh, they just add some color, protein, and flavor also like to have frozen berries. Other than smoothies, I like to throw these in my oatmeal, or you can simply eat frozen berries with almond milk or your favorite plant milk as a breakfast. I hope you enjoyed these tips and that they helped you out. Make sure to let me know down in the comments below what are your favorite vegan items to stock up on at the grocery store, and I can't wait to see you next time.